Hello Pisces, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for October the 7th through to the 13th. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe and comment if that's what you'd like to do. I appreciate and love you also very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private reading specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So Pisces, let's take a look at the week ahead. Let's see what spirit your angels and guides would like to bring through for you. For Pisces, please. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Pisces. And it is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. This is where you're at currently, Pisces. What is below you, what's behind you, what's above you and what is coming towards you. Let's take a look at your first message. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Yes, Pisces, what a beautiful energy here. You may be taking a bit of a risk here. I'm seeing that you're planning to do something and you are excited about it, but also nervous at the same time. You're not sure how it's going to work out fully. You haven't perhaps fully thought it through yet, or it's just going into the unknown a little bit here. That's the energy that I'm feeling. But it is a major new beginning for you, Pisces, and it's going to bring about so much benefit to you and the people around you. This is a positive change. So going a little bit outside of your comfort zone is actually a really good thing right now. So you're, you, I feel you're divinely guided to, I feel you are divinely guided by your intuition to make this change and to take these steps. And I feel like you're going to follow through with it. Even if you may be in the planning stages this week, or if you're taking the first leap into it this week, you are divinely guided. You can feel that inside. You know, you have that intuitive knowing that it is going to bring about so much benefit to you, which it will. So a major new beginning here. I'm sensing this week may be the beginning of a journey for you and you are kind of going into the unknown here, but it, it is exciting and it is going to bring about such positivity for you, Pisces. And we have the campfire and the keyword here is storyteller. So I am sensing that you are involved with others. There is an element of communication coming in here, which is key. So you communicating to an organization, a group of people, um, it's very necessary. It could just be within the family unit. You know, um, communication is key this week to get things moving in a smooth way. So just keep that in mind. That's the energy I'm feeling with that card there. And we have Opal and it says your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. You may be concerned this week. Some of you may be concerned this week about children or people younger than you. Some of you may be concerned this week about your own children, whether they are grown, whether they are young, um, or you may be looking after or you may be focused on children in general. You may be a teacher. There's a sense here of you, you thinking about someone younger than you. There's an element here of spirit being around you and the people that you care about, especially young people. So this energy is coming through, I feel, for a specific person. Let's take a look at this energy. Rose Angel Feather, a blessing for your home. The angels have heard your invitation to be present in and around your home. They are about to bestow a blessing of love on your home and its occupants. So you may be moving home or you may be relocating. I am getting a sense that there is a major blessing here for the home environment. You may be focused on your home environment this week, Pisces, and you're going to receive a blessing. Maybe you're worried about your home environment or the people in your 
in your home for some reason, but know that things are going to be okay. With these two energies here, people in your home and the ones that you care about are going to be completely fine. A blessing is going to come to your family and to your home life. Let's take a look here. Where you are currently, Pisces, is the Knight of Wands. So we do have movement. We have travel, relocation. You are moving at a fast pace in a direction that you feel passionate about. So a great energy of being successful in your endeavors this week. So, you know, I'm not feeling that you're going to be held back by your fears or your uncomfortable feelings about something you are actually going to be making those moves that need to be made. We have the world underneath you here. So this is a completion of something and it's of wholeness and of harmony and balance. Things are coming into balance now or they will very soon, Pisces. So this move that you are making is going to bring about harmony and balance in your life. And you may not be able to perceive it at this time, but it will happen. I'm also seeing a finalization of something here in your past or around you currently. Something's coming to a closure, to an end, and it's a healthy closure and you're happy to move on from it, but it still seems like it's a little bit of um, energy tied in here. So you may need to tie it off loose ends or you may um, find that you are still involved in some way with the, with the people involved in this ending. So I'm seeing you move into a new energy Pisces. That's the energy I'm feeling here. So with this uh, seven of wands energy, it's been difficult to get on top of something in your past, difficult to overcome an energy, a problem, circumstances, but you're on higher ground. So you're going to get on top of things. And that's exactly what you've done. Some of you are still working through a few things, but this week you are going to be moving away from the obstacles and challenges because you're on the high ground. You know what you've got to do. It may be difficult, but you're going to pursue it and do it anyway. And we have the eight of ones. So a lot of travel here. So you may be traveling this week, Pisces, or if it's not literal travel, then you're moving in the right direction. That is for sure. A lot of communication here is coming in as well. So that is an energy that has come up twice for you. The communication is very important and maybe linked in with the home environment because of these two cards or um, if it's a workplace thing or another scenario in your life, there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of back and forth, a lot of communication here and it's needed and necessary and going to bring about more harmony and balance in your life this week. And what's coming in towards you? So we have the five of swords. The five of swords is an unsettled energy when it comes to your thoughts and emotions. That's the energy I'm sensing for you this week with this card Pisces. Unsettled with your thoughts and it can touch on the emotions as well. So even though you're full force, Moving ahead with this wonderful fiery Knight of Wands energy, you might also be dealing with a fire sign. I feel there may be some unsettled energy here, mentally still though, and that may be linked in with the big changes that are happening because you're unsure about whether you're going to be successful or how things are going to turn out okay. Um, there is confusion here a little bit, some definitely some unsettled energy, but this major new beginning is going to prevail and it's going to be very positive for you, Pisces. So keep going because any obstacles or challenges or difficulties that you, that you face coming up over the next week, you're going to figure them out. You know, you're going to be strategizing and on top of things. So don't let your thoughts get the better of you. And I'm seeing some wonderful energy come through for you. So Pisces, you've got some big changes happening this week, which will lead, which will play out over the next week and into the future for you. So I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.